New York police say they found nearly 50 envelopes containing what they believe to be heroin inside Hoffman's Manhattan apartment. Also in his apartment, more than 20 used syringes in a plastic cup, several other bags containing white powder and prescription drugs. Prepare to delve into the dark and mysterious world of Hollywood, where fame and fortune often come with a devastating price. From child stars to beloved icons like Iron Man and the cast of Friends, these actors' lives have been tragically destroyed by the grip of drugs. Join us as we uncover the shocking stories of 15 actors whose promising careers were overshadowed by addiction, revealing the harrowing toll of substance abuse in the spotlight. Number 1. River Phoenix River Phoenix, a revered talent of the 1980s and early 1990s, was born on August 23, 1970 in Madras, Oregon, to parents John and Arlen Phoenix, who were part of the Children of God religious group before they left in 1978. River's early years were marked by his family's nomadic lifestyle, which took them across South America and the United States. His parents encouraged their children's creativity and spiritual exploration, which led River and his siblings, including Joaquin Phoenix, then known as Leaf, to pursue acting. Despite his unorthodox upbringing, Phoenix's innate talent and captivating presence quickly propelled him into the spotlight of Hollywood. His breakout role in Stand By Me garnered critical acclaim and set the stage for a promising career. However, beneath the veneer of success, Phoenix grappled with personal demons, including addiction. On the night of October 30, 1993, tragedy struck as Phoenix, along with his girlfriend Samantha Mathis and siblings Joaquin and Rain, visited the Viper Room, a renowned nightclub co-owned by Johnny Depp. Despite concerns from Mathis about the atmosphere, Phoenix decided to stay and perform with the band P. However, during the performance, he began feeling unwell, signaling to friends that he believed he had overdosed. Moments later, he collapsed outside the club, succumbing to a fatal combination of cocaine and heroin. In the aftermath of his passing, Phoenix's family and friends mourned the loss of a beloved son, brother, and friend. His mother, Arlian, later known as Hart, penned an emotional letter reflecting on his life and the tragic circumstances of his death, urging society to confront the realities of drug abuse. Number 2. Robert Downey Jr. Born into a family where substance abuse was unfortunately a part of the norm, Robert Downey Jr.'s early exposure to drugs set the stage for his own struggles later in life. His father, Robert Downey Sr., a cult filmmaker, allowed him to try marijuana at the shockingly young age of six, fostering a dangerous familiarity with substance use from an early age. Despite his tumultuous personal life, Downey rose to fame in the mid to late 80s with memorable roles in films like Less Than Zero and Chaplin, the latter earning him an Academy Award nomination. However, Behind the scenes, his addiction spiraled out of control, leading to multiple arrests and stints in jail. Multiple arrests and failed attempts at rehabilitation marked a dark period in Downey's life, culminating in a year-long prison sentence. It wasn't until he faced rock bottom, arrested again and fired from his TV show, that he realized the gravity of his situation and committed himself to recovery. With the support of his wife and a newfound dedication to sobriety, Downey embraced a holistic approach to rehabilitation, incorporating 12-step programs, therapy, meditation, and martial arts into his journey to wellness. With newfound sobriety, Downey's career experienced a resurgence, culminating in his iconic portrayal of Iron Man in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Thanks to the support of fellow actor Mel Gibson, who underwrote his insurance, he reclaimed his status as one of Hollywood's most sought-after leading men. And today, 
He stands as one of the most bankable and highly paid actors in Hollywood, evidence of the power of perseverance and redemption. Number 3. Philip Seymour Hoffman Philip Seymour Hoffman's tragic death in 2014 shocked the world, shedding light on the devastating grip of addiction that had plagued the talented actor for years. Despite his immense success in Hollywood, Hoffman battled with substance abuse throughout his career, ultimately losing his life to a heroin overdose at the age of 46. Hoffman's struggles with addiction were deeply ingrained, stemming from his early years at New York University, where he admitted to using anything I could get my hands on. Despite entering a drug rehabilitation program at the age of 22 and maintaining sobriety for over two decades, Hoffman's demons resurfaced in 2012, leading him back into the clutches of addiction. His relapse in 2012 marked the beginning of a downward spiral as he grappled with the pressures of fame, the crumbling of relationships, and the relentless grip of substance abuse. In spite of his efforts to seek help, including a brief stint in rehab in May 2013, Hoffman's battle with addiction proved insurmountable. Tragically, on February 2, 2014, Hoffman was found dead in his Manhattan apartment, a needle still in his arm. The official cause of death was ruled as acute mixed drug intoxication, highlighting the lethal combination of heroin, cocaine, benzodiazepines, and amphetamine in his system. Hoffman's death sent shockwaves through the entertainment industry, prompting an outpouring of grief from fans and colleagues alike. A funeral mass attended by a host of Hollywood stars honored his memory, while tributes poured in from around the world recognizing his immense talent and contributions to film. In the wake of his passing, efforts were made to commemorate Hoffman's legacy, including the establishment of the American Playwriting Foundation in his memory. Number 4. Drew Barrymore Drew Barrymore's journey from child star to Hollywood powerhouse has been marked by highs and lows, including a public battle with addiction that nearly derailed her life. Despite starting her career at a tender age, Barrymore found herself grappling with substance abuse early on, a struggle compounded by the pressures of fame and a tumultuous family life, born into an acting dynasty. Barrymore's rise to fame was swift, but her success was overshadowed by personal struggles from a young age. At just 11 years old, she developed a drinking problem, followed by addiction to cocaine at 12, and a suicide attempt at 13 that led to her hospitalization. Despite these challenges, Barrymore persevered, seeking help and working to overcome her demons, her journey to sobriety was far from linear. Following the failure of her third marriage in 2016, Barrymore found herself spiraling once again, turning to alcohol as a means of coping with her pain and loneliness. Her relapse led to strained relationships with loved ones and the loss of her longtime therapist, highlighting the devastating impact of addiction on personal connections. However, with the unwavering support of friends like Cameron Diaz and a renewed sense of purpose, Barrymore found the strength to confront her addiction once again. She credits her daytime talk show as a catalyst for change, providing her with a platform to share her story and inspire others on their own journeys to recovery. In addition to her personal struggles, Barrymore has also navigated the complexities of Hollywood fame and the pressures of being a child star. Despite facing rejection and being labeled as unemployable at one point in her career, Barrymore persevered, carving out a niche for herself as a versatile actress, producer, and director. Number 5. Macaulay Culkin Macaulay Culkin the beloved child star of Home Alone fame faced a tumultuous journey marked by fame, fortune, and addiction. While his iconic roles brought joy to millions, Culkin's personal life was overshadowed by struggles with drugs and legal issues. 
In 2004, at the age of 24, Culkin made headlines when he was arrested for possession of marijuana and a controlled substance without a prescription. The media frenzy that ensued speculated wildly about his alleged drug habits, painting a picture of a troubled star spiraling out of control. However, Culkin has since spoken out, vehemently denying the sensationalized reports. In a candid interview with The Guardian, he refuted claims of a $6,000 a month heroin habit, calling out tabloids for sensationalism. He asserted his autonomy and disinterest in the fame machine, stating, I don't just turn my back on fame, I actively don't want it. Culkin's desire for privacy led him to shun the spotlight, a decision met with relentless paparazzi pursuit. Despite his challenges, Culkin's resilience shines through. At the age of 15, he made the bold decision to legally divorce his parents, taking control of his finances and independence. This move, while unconventional, reflected his determination to safeguard his wealth and autonomy in an industry notorious for exploitation. In recent years, Culkin has undergone a remarkable transformation, both personally and professionally. He found love with fellow former child star Brenda Song, with whom he shares a son named Dakota. Their relationship has brought him stability and joy, grounding him in a sense of purpose beyond the glare of Hollywood. Today, Culkin embraces a quieter existence, focusing on creative pursuits like his rock band, the Pizza Underground, and his lifestyle website, Bunny Ears. Despite his past struggles, he remains an enduring symbol of resilience and reinvention. Number 6. Marilyn Monroe Marilyn Monroe, the epitome of beauty and glamour, lived a life fraught with inner turmoil and addiction. Despite her dazzling persona on screen, Monroe grappled with a traumatic childhood and a constant battle with mental health issues. Cure. Born Norma Jean Mortensen, Monroe's early years were marked by instability and hardship. Raised in foster homes due to her mother's struggle with schizophrenia, she sought solace in the glitz and glamour of Hollywood. However, fame brought its own set of challenges, including the pressure to maintain an image of perfection. Monroe's struggles with addiction were exacerbated by the culture of her time, where prescription medications were readily dispensed to manage psychological distress. Tragically, the very substances meant to alleviate her pain only deepened her addiction and fueled a downward spiral. The circumstances surrounding Monroe's death remain shrouded in mystery and speculation. Found dead at the age of 36, her passing was attributed to an apparent overdose of barbiturates. The combination of sedatives, amphetamines, and alcohol found in her system painted a grim picture of the toll addiction had taken on her life. Despite her untimely demise, Monroe's legacy endures as a cautionary tale about the perils of fame, addiction, and the unchecked power of prescription drugs. Her story serves as a reminder that behind the glitz and glamour of Hollywood lies a darker reality, one where even the brightest stars can be consumed by their inner demons. Number 7. Tara Reed. Tara Reed's journey in Hollywood has been a roller coaster ride, marked by highs and lows, successes and setbacks. The New Jersey native shot to fame with her role as Victoria Vicky Latham in the iconic 1999 film American Pie. However, despite early success, her career took a turn with many of her subsequent projects failing to match the acclaim of her breakout role. In addition to her professional struggles, Reed's personal life has also been under intense scrutiny. She has faced allegations of substance abuse, with reports emerging of her being seen in clubs and events, occasionally under the influence of alcohol. Her excessive drinking even led to a hospitalization in 2007 due to liver damage, highlighting the seriousness of her struggles. In 2008, Reed made a bold move to address her issues by checking herself into rehab. 
Although the specific cause for her admission was not disclosed, sources close to the actor revealed that she had developed a problem with alcohol. Afterwards, Reed embarked on a surprising career comeback. She landed the role of April Wexler in the Sharknado film series, which became a social media sensation and garnered millions of viewers. Despite facing challenges with alcohol again in subsequent years, Reed remained determined to revive her career, taking control of her destiny and seeking new opportunities. As we reflect on Tara Reed's journey, it prompts us to consider the importance of mental health and self-care in the entertainment industry. How can we better support celebrities navigating the pressures of fame and success? Join the conversation below. Number 8. Corey Monteith In the world of Hollywood, appearances can be deceiving and Corey Monteith's story is a proof. Known for his clean-cut image and role as the lovable Finn Hudson on Glee, Monteith's battle with drug addiction shocked many. The star struggled with addiction from a young age, starting his experimentation with drugs and alcohol at just 13 years old. Despite his mother's efforts to intervene and support him, including multiple stints in rehab, Monteith's addiction persisted. His fame and success on Glee only added to the pressure he felt, with Monteith reportedly finding the Hollywood scene too superficial and overwhelming. In an attempt to cope with the stress and escape the demands of his career, he turned to drugs as a way to check out from the world around him. Unfortunately, Monteith's battle with addiction ultimately led to his untimely death at the age of 31, when he was found dead in a Vancouver hotel room from a heroin overdose. The deceased has been identified as 31-year-old actor Corey Monteith, who achieved great fame on the popular TV series Glee. Vancouver. His mother, Anne McGregor, continues to advocate for addiction awareness and prevention, emphasizing the need to address the root causes of addiction before it's too late. Number 9. David Hasselhoff David Hasselhoff, the iconic star of Baywatch and Knight Rider, has had his share of ups and downs, both on and off screen. While many remember him for his role as a suave crime fighter or the quintessential lifeguard, his personal struggles with alcohol and drug addiction have also made headlines. In 2009, reports surfaced of Hasselhoff being hospitalized after a drinking binge, adding fuel to the rumors surrounding his battle with alcoholism. Despite his representatives denying claims of alcohol poisoning, Hasselhoff's struggles with addiction were no secret. His ex-wife, Pamela Bach, even accused him of being a falling-down drunk and alleged instances of domestic violence during their marriage. But amidst the turmoil, Hasselhoff's daughters played a pivotal role in his journey towards recovery. In 2007, his daughter Taylor Ann filmed him in a drunken stupor, a moment that later became public. This wake-up call prompted Hasselhoff to confront his addiction and seek help. He acknowledges the importance of his daughters in helping him realize the extent of his struggles and the need for change. Despite his past, Hasselhoff has taken steps towards redemption. He channels his experiences into his work, including his role in the musical Last Night a DJ Saved My Life, where he plays a hedonistic DJ in Ibiza. Reflecting on his past mistakes and the impact they had on his family, Hasselhoff emphasizes the importance of honesty and communication in parent-child relationships. While his public struggles may have overshadowed his career at times, Hasselhoff remains grateful for the support of his fans and the opportunities he's been given in show business. Despite setbacks, he continues to work on maintaining his sobriety and living a healthier lifestyle. Number 10. Judy Garland Judy Garland, the beloved actress and singer, captivated audiences with her dazzling performances on screen and stage. However, behind the scenes, Garland struggled with addiction, which ultimately took a toll on her health and career. 
Despite her immense talent and success on stage and screen, Garland struggled with the pressures of fame from a young age. As a child star, she was often subjected to grueling work schedules and intense scrutiny, which took a toll on her mental and emotional well-being. This early exposure to fame and the entertainment industry set the stage for her struggles with addiction later in life. Garland's use of drugs, particularly amphetamines and barbiturates, began as a means to cope with the demands of her career. Unfortunately, this reliance on medication to maintain her energy and manage her weight quickly spiraled into a full-blown addiction. Throughout her adult life, Garland battled with depression, anxiety, and self-doubt, all of which were exacerbated by her substance abuse. Despite numerous attempts at rehabilitation and periods of sobriety, she found it difficult to break free from the cycle of addiction. Garland's addiction not only affected her personal life, but also impacted her professional career. She struggled to fulfill work, commitments, leading to frequent absences, tardiness, and erratic behavior on set. This resulted in strained relationships with colleagues and employers, as well as financial difficulties due to lost opportunities and legal troubles. Despite the challenges she faced, Garland's talent continued to shine through in her performances. She captivated audiences with her powerful voice, charismatic stage presence, and emotional depth, earning her widespread admiration and acclaim. However, behind the scenes, Garland battled inner demons that ultimately proved insurmountable. Her tragic death in 1969, attributed to an accidental overdose of barbiturates, marked the end of a tumultuous life filled with triumphs and tribulations. Number 11. Brittany Murphy. Brittany Murphy, known for her roles in films like Clueless and Eight Mile, tragically struggled with drug addiction throughout her career, leading to her untimely death at the age of 32. Despite her bubbly and infectious on-screen persona, Murphy battled demons behind the scenes. She reportedly began experimenting with drugs at a young age, and as her career flourished, so did her addiction. Prescription medications, particularly painkillers and antidepressants, became a crutch for Murphy as she tried to cope with the pressures of Hollywood and the demands of her career. Murphy's addiction took a toll on her personal and professional life. She experienced tumultuous relationships, financial troubles, and erratic behavior on set. Despite attempts at rehabilitation and periods of sobriety, she found it difficult to break free from the grip of addiction. In December 2009, Murphy was found unconscious in her home and later pronounced dead at the hospital. The official cause of death was determined to be pneumonia, with secondary factors including iron deficiency anemia and multiple drug intoxication. The toxicology report revealed the presence of several prescription medications in her system, highlighting the extent of her struggles with addiction. While Murphy's career was cut short, her legacy continues to live on through her memorable performances and the impact she made on audiences around the world. However, her death serves as a sobering reminder of the devastating consequences of addiction and the need for greater support and resources for those struggling with substance abuse. Number 12. Robin Williams Robin Williams, the beloved comedian and actor, faced a long-standing battle with drug addiction throughout his life, a facet of his story that often remained obscured by his public persona. Born in 1951, Williams catapulted to fame in the 1970s with his stand-up comedy routines, later transitioning to television and film, where he became an iconic figure with roles in Good Morning Vietnam, Dead Poet Society, and Mrs. Doubtfire. Despite his outward success, Williams struggled privately with addiction, particularly to cocaine and alcohol. His addiction issues were deeply intertwined with his struggles with depression and anxiety, conditions he grappled with for much of his life. 
Williams openly acknowledged using drugs and alcohol. Another drug they don't tell you is a drug. It's a class four narcotic, alcohol. As a means of self-medication and escape from his inner demons, a coping mechanism that often exacerbated his mental health challenges. He famously quipped, cocaine is God's way of telling you you are making too much money. Over the years, Williams made multiple attempts to confront his addiction, seeking treatment and entering rehabilitation programs in an effort to regain control over his life. However, his battle with substance abuse remained a persistent and pervasive aspect of his existence, punctuated by periods of sobriety followed by relapses. Williams' addiction struggles took a toll on his personal relationships and professional endeavors, contributing to strained marriages and challenges in his career. Despite his efforts to overcome his demons, addiction continued to cast a shadow over his life, underscoring the complexities and challenges associated with substance abuse and mental health disorders. Tragically, Williams's battle with addiction came to a heartbreaking end when he died by suicide in August 2014. Despite the darkness that overshadowed his final years, Williams's legacy continues to shine brightly. He is remembered not only for his comedic brilliance, but also for his kindness, generosity, and profound impact on the lives of those he touched. Number 13. Amanda Bynes. Amanda Bynes, once hailed as one of Hollywood's brightest young stars, captured hearts with her talent and charm on the big and small screens. However, behind the glitz and glamour, Bynes struggled with a very public battle with drug addiction that played out in the spotlight. Born in 1986, Bynes began her career at a young age, starring in Nickelodeon's hit sketch comedy series All That and later headlining her own show, The Amanda Show. She quickly transitioned to film, earning praise for her performances in movies like What a Girl Wants and Hairspray. However, Bynes' life took a dark turn as she grappled with the pressures of fame and the pitfalls of young stardom. In the late 2000s, reports of erratic behavior and brushes with the law began to surface, signaling the beginning of her public struggle with substance abuse. Bynes' addiction issues came to a head in 2012 when she was arrested for driving under the influence and subsequently charged with reckless endangerment and marijuana possession. These incidents marked a turning point in her life and career prompting widespread concern from fans and industry insiders alike. Despite attempts to address her addiction and mental health issues, including voluntary stays in rehab and psychiatric treatment facilities, Bynes continued to face setbacks and public scrutiny. Her behavior became increasingly erratic, marked by bizarre social media posts and public outbursts that raised concerns about her well-being. In 2013, Bynes' behavior reached a breaking point when she was involuntarily placed under psychiatric hold after setting a fire in a stranger's driveway. This incident marked a turning point in her battle with addiction and mental health issues, leading to her decision to step away from the spotlight and focus on her recovery. Fortunately, in recent years, there have been signs of hope for Bynes, as she has taken steps toward recovery and stability. In 2020, she announced her engagement and expressed her desire to return to acting, signaling a potential comeback and a newfound sense of optimism for the future. In recent years, Bynes has opened up about her struggles with addiction and mental health, speaking candidly about the impact of fame and the pressure of being in the public eye from a young age. She has expressed gratitude for the support she has received during her recovery and remains committed to maintaining her sobriety and prioritizing her health. Number 14. Mel Gibson Mel Gibson, known for his roles in iconic films like Braveheart and the Lethal Weapon series, has had a career marked by both success and controversy. His rugged charm and intense performances endeared him to audiences worldwide, solidifying his status as a leading man in Hollywood. 
However, behind the scenes, Gibson battled personal demons, including a long-standing struggle with alcoholism. He became known for his erratic behavior and public outbursts, which often made headlines and damaged his reputation in the industry. One of the most infamous incidents involving Gibson's alcohol-fueled behavior occurred in 2006, when he was arrested for driving under the influence in Malibu, California. During the arrest, Gibson made anti-Semitic remarks to the arresting officer, sparking widespread controversy and backlash. Following the incident, Gibson entered rehab to address his issues with alcoholism and seek treatment for his destructive behavior. In subsequent years, he publicly acknowledged his struggles with addiction and expressed remorse for his past actions. Despite his efforts to overcome his addiction, Gibson's reputation continued to be tarnished by his behavior and controversies. However, he has also experienced moments of redemption and resurgence in his career, including earning critical acclaim for his directorial work on films like Hacksaw Ridge. In recent years, Gibson has maintained a lower profile in Hollywood, focusing on his work behind the camera as a director and producer. While he has faced setbacks and challenges, he has also demonstrated resilience and a commitment to personal growth and redemption. Number 15. Matthew Perry Matthew Perry, best known for his role as Chandler Bing on the hit TV show Friends, battled with addiction throughout his life. His addiction issues began in the late 1990s, during the height of Friends fame, and persisted throughout much of his career. He sought treatment for his addiction multiple times over the years, checking into rehab facilities to address his substance abuse issues. However, despite his efforts to overcome his addiction, Perry faced numerous setbacks and relapses. On October 28, 2023, Perry was found unresponsive in a hot tub at his home in Los Angeles and was pronounced dead later that day at the age of 54. His death was attributed to the acute effects of ketamine, a powerful anesthetic, as well as other contributing factors including drowning and coronary artery disease. In the wake of his passing, Perry's death shed light on the devastating impact of addiction and mental health issues. His struggles served as a reminder of the importance of seeking help and support when facing personal challenges. Following his death, the National Philanthropic Trust established the Matthew Perry Foundation to support people suffering from addiction, carrying on Perry's legacy of advocacy and awareness. Thanks for watching another episode. Click the next video on your screen for more.